welcome, welcome to our unedited, unrehearsed living room sing-along. Come on in, grab a bowl of popcorn, a cup of hot coffee or tea or whatever. Unless it's too hot in your area to drink coffee or tea that's hot. It's right here in Colorado. It's actually kind of chilly tonight. But we are glad that you joined us here on this sing-along. And yeah, kick off your shoes and make yourself comfortable. Let's just take an hour, almost an hour. We're going to have to stop promptly tonight. we got places to go afterwards. Hello, Steve Nisley in Paris, Tennessee. Miriam in College, Pennsylvania. Then there's Hinkletown, Pennsylvania. Well, hello, Michael Detweiler from Michigan. Good to see you once again. Hey, we're going to do some sing. Well, Grantsville, Grantsville, Maryland. What in the world are you doing there, brother? Never mind. I know you got lots of friends and family there. <laughs> All right. What are we going to start with, hon? Should we do another song or two before we get into the children's stuff? Or... Ah, what's on your mind? You got a song? Well, let me see. I guess we might as well get started with the children's songs because I can't think of another one that popped in my mind tonight. What? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, some yeah, some scripture passages. Some old ones. Um, Sunday we sang uh, Thou Art Worthy and not everybody seems to do that one, but let's see. Let's do that one too in the key of A, I think. What's that? He wants to say hi to everybody. Trevor does. Where's that popcorn suit of yours, young man? Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. To receive glory. Glory and honor. Glory and honor and power. For Revelations, I believe, at least if I get them right. Then this one comes out of Proverbs, I believe, or is it somewhere else in the Old Testament? He has showed the old man what is good. He has showed the old man what is good. And what does the Lord require of thee? came that sneeze. Every every sing-along I have to give at least one sneeze. Let's hope it's just one. Hello, Eileen. Dave Hitter. Let's try that again. He has showed the old man what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee but to do Yeah, good. good to see the names popping up past. You know, this doing it every week, um, just once a week, is, is, is hard for this old boy to get used to. But uh, it's happening. So anyway, we're glad you joined us. We're a little early tonight, but we're going to move right on. Hey, we got some requests for children's section, didn't we, tonight, honey? All right. Who are they and what is it? Oh, yes. Well, you know, where is that horn at? In front of you. In front of you. In front of me. Oh, right there. Okay. Hey, you know what? You should blow it. Down in the valley, hear the train blow. Hey, we didn't sing that one for a long time. Hey, here you go, here you go, here you go. Let's do that one. All right, children, this is for you. Don't, don't blow the whistle. Down in the valley, valley so low. They in the evening, with me, hear the train blow. train blow, love, hear the train blow, late in the evening, hear the train blow. <laughs> Remember that next 
next verse? Part of a love song. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we can wait till later to do that. But anyway, yeah. Um, I know, folks. It's hear the wind blow, but I needed a train song for the whistle. Hi, so Leah. We stuck one in there. Leah says hi. All right. Little granddaughter from Oregon. We're seeing some people here from Canada. Welcome, Canadians. All right. Well, let me see. So we have some children's songs. Yep. What's the first Andrew one, baby? Andrew Miller requested, how much is that doggy in the window? Oh, Andrew, you did it. <laughs> yes, you did. How much is that doggy? This is for you, Andrew Miller. How much is that doggy in the window? Ow, ow. The one with the waggly tail. Oh. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. Where's my puppy stick? I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart alone. Oh no. If she has a dog, she won't be lonely. And the doggy will have a good home. So how much is that dog in the way? Maybe he can listen in on it a little later then. What do you think? Hey, All right. Michael Swanson requested Jesus loves the little children. Ah, uh, yeah, Michael. I think we sang this last sing along, but we're going to do it again because it's such a good truth. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Shades have come from dark to light. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. He loves the big children like me too. Jesus died for all the children. All the children of the world. Shades of bright from dark to light. They are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. They are precious in His sight. Jesus lives for all the children of the world. Yeah, you know, Esther Schrock, you say that sounded like a real dog. I, I have a lot of fun stories about that. But one of the funnier ones was in the, when we started to sing along, the people were listening with their puppies in the living room. And whenever I do that, they, they'd kick off and start barking too. So... <laughs> So we even got the doggies praising the Lord for a little bit, right? <laughs> Until the owners told them to quiet down. <laughs> anyway, where are we going next, Ruth? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of I don't want a bunny or a kitty, somebody asked for the kitty song. Tyler Weaver requested the kitty song. All right, Tyler. This is for you, my friend, Mr. Weaver. The kitty song. Goes way back to where Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. And what do you think he did with them cats? In the book of Daniel, there's a story to be told. A little Hebrew boy who was 14 years old. He was taken from his home and he marched to Babylon. But in his heart, he knew his God would help him carry on. Well, he threw Daniel in the lion's den. And there was no way out. Daniel didn't scream and 
Daniel didn't holler, and Daniel didn't even shout. He prayed to his God, and God heard his prayer. He closed the lion's mouth, they only heard a snare. Meow. Here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, kitty. Her for me, kitty. <laughs> nice, kitty. Is that what Daniel said? <laughs> To a land of plenty rolled by a mighty king Daniel and his friends were taken there it seems When the king said bow, Daniel stood tall When the lion saw the angel, he coughed up a furball <laughs> The king had many dreams and asked what they were told The people did not answer, but Daniel grew bold he knew that with his awesome God, the answer he could find A statue made of nations and a king that lost his mind Well, he threw Daniel in the lion's den But there was no way out Daniel didn't scream and Daniel didn't holler And Daniel didn't even shout He prayed to his God and God heard his prayer He closed the lion's mouth I got a suspicion that Daniel and the lies then, he probably wasn't reaching over there and tickling their tummies or anything. <laughs> but the Lord did an amazing thing there, didn't he? Pays to stand up for the Lord, Tyler. Hey, Tanisha Weaver requested Grandma's feather bed. Oh, now we get to go to the Grandma's house, Teresa. I love it. When I was just a little bitty boy, just a ball from the floor, we used to go down to Grandma's month or so. We have homemade bread. Homemade bread. <laughs> we have, we have, we have fried chicken, lots of ham, and homemade butter on the bread. But the very best thing about Grandma's house was Grandma's big feather bed. It was nine feet wide and six feet high, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of 411 beasts, took a whole boat of buffalo. Well, it would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and a piggy we stole from the shed. Didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun in Grandma's feather bed. Why, well, but that was some noise. Well, after supper, we'd gather around the farm and folks a story or two. Grandpa talked about the farm and the war and Granny sing a ballad or two. I'd sit and listen to what they said till the cobwebs filled my head. Next day, With my uncle, I wrestled with my cousin, I even kissed Aunt Lou. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And if I ever had to make a choice, I think it ought to be said. I'd train them all, plus the gal down the road for Grandma's big feather bed. Yeah, I'd train them all, plus the gal down the road. Ah, uh, no, I better not train them for that gal down the road. It's, she's my wife now. It was nine feet wide and six feet high. Well, the reason I could sound like a piggy <laughs> is because I worked on a pig farm for quite a few years, and uh, they have all kinds of different sounds. The one that I used to love to do, and it was kind of ornery, I have to admit, but if you go into the big sow barn in the middle of the day, and they're all just there just kind of sleeping and being pigs, you know, 
and, and you sneak in and you'd surprise him and you'd go, hey! And one of them would go, whoa! And that would just make all of them jump up and it was like an alarm, like, look out, trouble's coming. So yeah, they would actually do like a wolf sound. It cracked me up. Anyway, that was from our For What It's Worth department. Hey, Tyrell Weaver requested The Birds Upon the Treetop. Tyrell, I like that you request this song. I almost forgot this one. The birds upon the treetop sing their song. The angels chant their chorus all day long. The flowers in the garden. Adults, we did this too. The birds upon the treetop sing their song. The angels shed their chorus all day long. The flowers in the garden blend their hue. So why shouldn't I, why shouldn't you praise him too? Oh yes, and we need to praise him, don't we? There's enough of complaining and negativity going around the last... For a long time. So let's just be praising the Lord. Big children and little children. Okay. Lori Worth requests that Jesus loves me with all the verses. Lori Worth wants all the verses? I don't know all the verses. There's lots of verses. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll do. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes. You learned this when you were a child. Sing along. Jesus loves me. This I know. verses uh, and different uh, wording in some different hymn books uh, where we found Jesus loves me. So I apologize for not remembering them all. But wow, what a beautiful truth. And uh, I'll tell you, those of you who learned to sing that from Little Wop were blessed. Just being able to sing that song and be learning that song. I meet so many people who grew up in, uh, or people who were incarcerated whose uh, childhood stories were totally, totally different. Some of them will just break your heart and make you cry because of the, the, the uh, sadness and the brokenness. Not all of them, but some of them. All right, moving on. Somebody says, it's oh, it's raining. Raining in New York. Okay. New York okay. State. 
Carol and Marlon Fonstock requested there shall be showers hey, of blessing. That's an appropriate one for the for uh, Lori there. There shall be showers of blessing. Let me see, what key are we gonna do this? Let's try the key of C. I think so. No, let's go with A. Anyone playing along tonight? Let's go with A on this one. There shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of God. There shall be seasons refreshing. Sent from the Savior above. Showers, showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us are full. There shall be showers of blessing, oh that today they might fall. Now as to God we're confessing, now as on Jesus we call. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops round us our fall. I could comment about that song, but I guess I don't have to comment about every song, so we'll keep on goofing along here. Hey, here's an oldie goldie. Okay, <clears throat> Janet Sensenick requested Stepping on the Cloud. This song is so fun to sing, and the reality of it all is going to be experienced someday, Stepping on the Clouds, or at least the, the picture is there for us to ascend when the uh, rapture takes place. Um, wonder what that's going to really be like. Looking forward to it. Make sure we're ready, right? Not only just make sure we're ready, but helping our friends and other people around us prepare for that second coming. Uh, Lord willing, it happens in our lifetime, right? Stepping on the clouds. One of these days. I'm going to leave. So one of these days. like that song rhythm increase you think <laughs> oh, i love it you know what that song reminds me of another song i like to throw in here not doing too good on memory tonight so we'll see how it goes uh, one of the songs one of the last songs that i got to sing with robert in our quartet before his uh untimely death the accident many years ago he was 17 years old i was 18 many of you heard that story before and uh yeah he sang with 
my sister and I and, and, and another friend, Becky Yoder, and a, and a quartet. And we gave a program at our home church, uh, which wasn't, we used to do at other churches, but we gave a program at our home church about two weeks before or a week before the accident. And I never thought it'd uh, be one of the last songs I'd sing with about heaven. If we never meet again on this earth, my precious friend, if to God we have been true and we Let for us there'll be a meeting, for there's gonna be a greeting. I'll see you in the rapture some sweet day. Oh yes, I'll see you in the rapture, oh, see you in the rapture. I'll see you at that meeting in the end. come back with that one um hey is kenzie around here kenzie you want to say hi on the camera to so some people might be watching we got it we have a guest for the next uh, uh couple of weeks come on and say hello kenzie hi. there you go <laughs> all right this gal uh their family is moving out to colorado randy and stephanie zook and we are excited about that and kenzie came flew out by herself bravo um today and uh and uh yeah she's that way she can get started with the school year right away. So that's going to give her advantage. Not only that, but you're going to be leaving them to go to a wedding in Canada, right? Her older brother, Caleb. Hey, Caleb, congratulations. He's getting married. And um, in Canada, his girlfriend's a Canadian. And, and I, I guess that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shows that love is not limited to a certain state or country, is it yeah. then, honey? All right. Kenzie and, will be staying with us for two weeks. So. Hey, yeah. Gee. You're having a birthday. You had a birthday. 74 years. I love it. Happy birthday to you, Jean. Happy birthday to you, Miss Jean. Happy birthday, dear Jean. Happy birthday to you. Somebody else had a birthday. It wasn't Anna Hoover. We already did that one, right? Okay, okay. I don't know who somebody... We forget about all these beautiful birthday, people having birthdays uh, coming around. But congratulations, Gene. What a gift to have 74 years of life. Amen. And I hope you have many more wonderful years. What do we got next, babes? Okay, Sally Hostetler requested Beyond the Sunset. Oh, wow. My brother Chris always told me that this song was sung at my dad's funeral. I did not know that or I did not remember that. But uh, am I right, Chris? Beyond the sunset, oh blissful morning, when with our Savior heaven is begun, first toiling at the Beyond the sunset, 
voice breaking there guys and i tell you what like i said a couple weeks ago it was bad couldn't hardly sing oh brother david's funeral thank you irma and or chris yeah it wasn't at my dad's funeral it was at our brother david's funeral my brother david passed away when he was 17 i think it was uh yeah very unexpectedly and i was about ooh, i think 10 or 11 years old <clears throat> and i do have a lot of memories of that he's buried up in in uh, Pennsylvania at the uh, Peckway Congregation there. Uh, right, an interesting, quite an interesting story. And, and it was really, really tough time for dad and mom, of course, like it would be when a 17-year-old dies unexpectedly. It wasn't an accident. His um, aorta in his heart, behind his heart, I guess they call it, aorta, burst or, yeah, was leaking, bleeding, and he bled to death without um, us before he even got to a hospital. So at least that's the way I understood it. All right, well, let's move on, huh? Hey, Joyce Bontrager, we're going to be singing the Bluebird song later on. Happy anniversary. Oh, is it their anniversary? Yeah. Hey, Bontrager, you made it for 55 years. I love it. Well, congratulations. What a good example of, of God's love. Okay, Charlene Davis requested Peace in the Valley. Whoa, Peace in the Valley. Do we have a drink? Do you have any drink with you, do yeah, you? Yeah, back behind me. Oh, I need, excuse me, why? I reach it. Reach back. Okay, you sure? Yeah. I mean, I could do you now. It might break the chair. Oh, <laughs> I was going to lean back real far in the chair. She said I might break the chair. You heard her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, hon. Mm. Peace in the valley. <clears throat> that verse in Isaiah talks about the the wolf laying down with the lamb. Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> We're gonna do this in the key of D, I think. Well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must go along till the Lord comes and calls me away. Oh yes, well. some interesting scenarios uh the best one i think in there and there is the idea that <clears throat> there will be complete peace in so much that there won't even be conflict between the wild animals and the kids right can you see your kid walking uh, walking around with a big old uh, bear or something following him? <clears throat> okay patricia wilson requested victory and jesus love this song 
Bible talks about in the name of Jesus and we come to the Lord and through Jesus Christ. What a difference it makes. What the victory, what victory is there as we put our faith in Him. In the key of G, I heard an old, old story how the Savior came from glory, how He gave His life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about His groaning of His precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sin and what the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me and I knew him and all my love is to him. He punished about that victory we have in Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Victory over Satan, victory over the powers of darkness, victory over the lies because of Jesus, through Jesus Christ. So so I saw when we were singing that song that um, Fanny put on that her mom and Annie and, and my mom, Rebecca, would have sang that song together. Are you talking about Beyond the Sunset there, Fanny, that song? Victory. Or a victory in Jesus? No, I'm not sure which one. <clears throat> but anyway, just kind of curious about that, Fanny. So if you knew that question... Was it about, which song was it that you're talking about, uh, Beyond the Sunset, or, you know, sometimes the comments don't keep up with the, with the song there, but anyway. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, Beneath the Cleansing Blood reminded me of another song that is so fun to sing. Oh, The Victory in Jesus, yeah, you're right, Fanny, okay, thank you. Uh, good to see you on tonight. God bless you. You've been on a journey, and uh, the Lord's been good to you, amen? <laughs> let's sing, um, let's sing that song the cathedrals did just an awesome job of it. I love it. Called Blood Washed Band. We got time for that one, hun? Uh oh, we're running out of time. We got to quit on time. In the key of C. We're a band of Christian soldiers fighting Satan every day. We're standing up for Jesus while we're kneeling down to pray. If this precious blood is Watch. 
like, you want to sing a song? I mean, you know, if you got a song, just say the title and we'll play along with you. You can sing it. I'm telling you, I bet your mom would be proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's a little, little shy, you know. <laughs> Hey, um, we did have another birthday. Uh, Hazel Rose. Who? Has a birthday today, I think, and she's turning oh, wow. 72 today. Woo. She requested a song, Sweeter Gets the Journey, every day. Oh, that's a cool song for set, for turning 72. And that is a true song, too. You know, the, the more we enjoy uh, the blessings of God and our relationship with the Lord, the journey gets sweeter, even though crazy and hard and difficult things happen to us. We have the assurance and the relationship. So yeah, I love this request. So happy birthday to you. And Sweeter Gets the Journey. Sweeter gets the journey every day. Serving Jesus really pays. I get happy on the seventh way. Sweeter gets the journey every day. Well, I don't know about you, my friend. The base, I can up to up to that heavenly shore. We'll live, we'll live forever. Never have a trouble, never have a care. Everything will just be happiness there. Sweeter gets the journey every day. Serving Jesus really pays. I get so happy on the seventh day way. Sweeter gets the journey every day. Sorry about messing that up a little bit there. <laughs> but you know, we only see what we remember, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad they do, Fanny. Melinda uh, Bronk. Um, yeah, who's here with us? Kenzie Zook is here with us. She's a friend from Colorado. And some of you may have missed it. I'm from Oregon. Yeah, to, moving to Colorado. So she'll be from Colorado soon. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah, that's just kind of a letting you know who's here. <clears throat> Where are we going next time? Okay, Glenda Canfield requested the Bluebird song, and this is for anniversary. Joyce Bontrager. Yeah, Joyce had an I, I was so thinking, much. I saw another anniversary on there yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. all you dear people with your anniversaries, we're going to go back memory lane, the Bluebird song. Oh, yeah. I think this one started being requested as much as the Rose, right? Yeah. Or the uh, Rose of My Heart. Rose of My Heart. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> anyway, well, let's do it. See if I can put this up here right where I can. Get it. You know what? It and I, I always, I always, we try to take a time every sing along to point out the importance and the blessings of romance, even at the age of us old people. And I love it when when our children, now that they're old and everything, you know, we get all. When we get the kissy kissy a little bit or something with us old people they go ew but you know inside they're glad they're so glad that their parents stayed together so for all of you that through the thick and thin of marriage uh survived it <laughs> or not survived it thrived in it i guess would be the way to say uh congratulations keep being an example of god's love the bible says that we're to love each other husbands love your wives as christ loved the church well i'll tell you what i got a lot to learn about that well, I met a girl down in the hills who gave my lonely heart a thrill. Her beauty seemed just like a breath of spring. And when I looked into her eyes, I thought of bluish summer skies. And when I held her hand in mine, I heard the bluebirds sing. They sang of a wondering, wondering if you love her. Will she marry? Married in the spring All through the 
was one cold winter month. It seemed that spring would never come. And every gloomy winter day I heard the birds sing. They sang a waiting, waiting for the flowers. And of counting, counting every hour. Till the bluebird, bluebird chirps its welcome into the world once more. Our wedding seemed just like a dream come true. So many years have come and gone, our love is still as true and strong as when I found her long ago. And still the bluebirds sing, they sing of loving, loving every hour that I'm married, married to my flower. We'll be happy, happy ever after. I see. Too much fun here, I'll tell you what. Wish y'all could be here in our living room with us. Wait, you wouldn't all fit. We'd be we'd have a mess, wouldn't we? <laughs> We're glad you're here listening along and enjoying tonight. I hope that God blesses you and with something gives you some encouragement, some cheer. And we're moving right along. We're doing that for fun and the love songs right now. And we've got a happy anniversary song, don't we, Dave? Yes, <clears throat> Kathy Park requested Ooh. Happy, uh, well, she requested us to sing happy anniversary for Dolores and Harry Patterson. They, it's their 63rd anniversary and it's Kathy's sister. Well, Kathy, we pulled a fast one on you. You were out picking those beautiful blackbirds and they are so yummy in Oregon. Oh my goodness. I remember walking along the path out there for the morning walk I did and the blackberries were there, and you'd pick them, and oh man, they were so yummy. Most of them were. Every once in a while, I'd get a rotten one I had to spit out. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we're sorry. We actually jumped, started on you there, um, but we got some plans for later on this evening uh, as soon as we're done here. Um, yeah, so happy anniversary. And this, boy, I kind of like this old song. It takes me back to memory lane a little bit. Uh, who was it? Uh, Roy Rogers, I think. Well, G, G. Stewart says here. Yeah, recorded by Roy Rogers. <clears throat> uh, whoops. It's in the key of C, right? I'm trying to remember how I go. the gold in your hair turn silver that's wrong I got the wrong key I watch the gold there we go I'll get it after a while sorry guys I watch the gold in your hair turn silver and the sparkle in your eyes dims more each day and the clutch of your hands getting weaker. All these things say it wasn't just yesterday. So darling, happy anniversary. You've made my life for me. One
paper we signed has turned yellow. Its crumbling edges tend to tell its age, and its meaning we will cherish forever. But in the book of our lives is just a page. So darling, happy anniversary, you made my life for me, once again, thanks for the memories, my darling, happy anniversary. Fanny Wangard. <laughs> My sister Fanny says, 43 years this weekend they celebrated. Yeah, it is a gift of God. It sure is. Oh, wow. Where are we going next, babes? Oh, cool. Bring that white song book over here. We're going to do a couple of newer songs. I've, I've enjoyed uh, one of the things about... Okay. One of the things I've enjoyed about leading worship here in, in uh, Canyon City is I've had to learn some new songs. Um, and of course, re and not, not all of them, but there's some, you know, songs that I had heard, but I've never really let them. And um, one of them we took along on PR trip. It's just a beautiful message. Jesus, strong and kind. Um, do people see Jesus through us? And if they do, what do they see about Jesus in us? Jesus living within us.
Time to quit? No. All right. Well, it's been good, and I hate to be so abrupt. It seems abrupt to me to quit the right now, but uh, we've been with you for almost an hour, which is usually, we usually go about an hour and 15 minutes, but according to our little time thing up there, and we are going to move along because we got this school picnic to go to tonight. And uh, just FYI, something for you to pray about, prayer request time. Um, today at, in the prison, I was part of a, a, a pod that uh, they, that there's just a lot of men in there that are starting a church. I mean, literally, there's like, we had Bible study today, and they were talking about the church in j -Pod. And it's a miracle. The Shekinah glory of the Lord coming in and saving these men, giving them a love for Jesus, and then worshiping together and honoring each other and honoring the Lord, just moved me today. So thank you for your prayers. Um, yeah, the chaplain there uh, doing what God has called him to do, Chaplain Caleb and Josh, and it's just been, it's beautiful to be part of that. Um, also then, uh, this, as the school year starts, I consented to teach music uh, at the, the local Christian school here. I don't even know the name of the school. That's just crazy. And uh, so once a week, I'll be going in there, Lord willing, and I think we're going to be doing a, a cantata. And I talked about this last week, but if any of you Know where Joseph the Carpenter by Joe E. Parks. If you have any books of that cantata, that musical, I would love to have one. Um, we have copies of the music, but not the, uh, the the words. So, yeah. Anyway, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we come to you. And you are kind. You are strong. You're amazing. Your compassion never fails. Your mercies are new every morning. That is amazing to us because as people, we're not always that way. And we ask for your forgiveness when we get to be demanding or, or um, yeah, obnoxious. We pray that your sweet spirit will pour into our lives and help us to love as you have loved. And even if that sometimes requires, Lord, standing up firmly and in spite of the opposition, we want to love as you love. Thank you for going to the cross, Jesus. For each one in the living room, sing along tonight. We could celebrate the anniversaries. Thank you for that. The birthdays. We celebrate your goodness. We celebrate the day we met you, Jesus. And then also, Father, we pray for healing for those who are struggling physically. You know each one. You know each situation. We pray for healing emotionally and for healing spiritually. You are the healer. By your stripes, we are healed. We come to you by faith, asking, because we know that you want us to and that you want to be glorified. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Thanks for joining us. And if not before, see you next Monday night. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> oh, you didn't get it turned off yet. <laughs> All right. Just All get right. it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. Okay, I'm going to take this along.